Hey guys, this is Nathan. Welcome to Punter's Pre-Mortem. A very special edition of the show this week. We got together with some of the best punters in Sydney to give you the right information this weekend. Emptied out my wheelbarrow, giving it a clean out. Going to go see Robbie with all the tips we're going to be winning on Saturday. Hi, I'm Jack Spanler Wendy. I got two tips for you today, but my number one tip for today is a cheeky, sneaky, itchy, awesome Sam, race eight, number nine in Sydney. With the weather rolling in, Miss Markwell's prepped this baby beautifully. She's rhymed and ready. She's ready. She's riper than a tree. And I'm telling you, at just 21 to 1, and at 5 to place, there's plenty of value here. So do yourself a favour. Get on this beautiful, beautiful horse. I'm Jack Spindle with the ASEAN line. Hey guys, Nathan needed some time off this week to set up his Tinder profile, so I'm on Triple X Special this week. Uh, it comes up at Rose Hill in race two, number seven, Gretna. Gretna. She's one from three. Uh, her maiden win showed a, a really impressive sprint in her, but it was her, her last start that did it for me. Um, she was held up till the 150, dead last, gone for all money, and uh, found a hole showed a really impressive turn of foot and ended up completely romping home and ending up third. I think she would have won by a country mile with a bit of luck and I think now with Bowman on board this week and um, he's in the form of his life, he can't lose at the moment. I think uh, 460 is overs and uh, as a very inconsistent punter I know says I'll be getting on on Saturday. Hi there, Jack Attack Spindle Wendy back again. Now, I was having a bruise over down at the track earlier today now, I took a wee fancy to a beautiful horse in Caulfield by the name of Land of Freedom. Reminds me of Ireland, to be fair. To be fair, to be fair, it does remind me of Ireland. Race 7, number 13. In Melbourne, in Caulfield. <laughs> Cab. Trained her. Well, I'm sure of it. I know. I know the PPM followers low of fact. Now, I got a beauty for you. Now, each time that Kavanagh has got Demo, Demo Lane on board, he has paired up 91 times this season, and 50% of them, they've come in the top three. So, fellas, 18%, 0.7 was the winnings. So, I tell you what, put your money on. I'm Jack Spender with D. Do yourself a favor, I'll see you in line. Won't you take me to Ramrick race 6 over the 1400 meters. My numbers are 6, 1, 10, and 11. One week out from the championships, we're back to benchmark quaddies. I'm settled on the 6 Tremazina. Ultra impressive in the group 3 last, I've only been beaten two lengths. Way back down in grey, down to benchmark stuff. The rain around's not going to hurt her. She's won on a heavy track before. The fence back in the true position. I think it's going to be suiting the horses that are running on. Big JC Collett, get her back. Run past them, one down in the quaddy. Rose Hill race seven over the 1500 meters. My numbers are two, nine, and eight. Nine, His Majesty at Ramick last start where he missed out on the big prize in the championship final. Looks to get the right run here in a tone after his third placing. The simple fact is if he jumped in that race and put himself in a position he was gonna win it, unlucky to finish third. Distance is perfect for him. Handles soft tracks. Gets the gun brand of Dulla from Barry A can get the right run in behind this fast speed. Lincoln, you're going to miss this horse running past him at the 200 meter mark, giving us high fives as it goes past. The trainer Kim Walk can take some of that money, go to the hairdressers and get that hair fixed. Race 8 over the 1350 meters, my numbers 11, 7, 6 and 2. Well hardly ever trounced a horse that was competitive in stakes class in one more Zeta. Jay McDonald at the moment could dead set ride a carousel horse and win races. Third up, she's going to be even fitter from her last start victory. Going to get the job done three down in the quaddy. Rose Hill race 9 over the 1100 meters. My numbers are 10, 2, 5, and 11. Dust yourself off, Mogos. You're coming in there this time. This horse would be a superstar if they gave the old boy the snip snip. Haven't done it yet because he's going to be a stallion when he wins a Group 1 race one day. Forget his rating. Just look at the forces he's been running around. Japanese me. He ran fifth in a Coolmore stud stakes. This is not that on a Saturday. It's a benchmark race. He's probably racing for his nuts, so I'm hoping on Saturday that he can get the job done and take us to Quaddy Town. Woo! 
we will be very, very angry with you. And we will write you a letter telling you how angry we are. Johnny Depp, you are giving us Aussie Pirates a bad name. What were you thinking failing to declare your puny dogs to quarantine when you entered Australia? I'll tell you for a start, in Australia we have real dogs, working dogs, blue healers, kelpies and the like, dogs with a bark. Ah ha 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 matey. So you disobeyed our laws and you have the cheek to call my mate Barnaby Joyce some kind of sweaty big gutted man from Australia. He's only the Deputy Prime Minister, Mr. Depp. Not acceptable, Johnny. And in future, if you aren't able to respect our laws, please don't come back. You peanut! The rock and rangy rang do is joining in on the outside. Is it his day to day? It's road to rock and rangy rang do fighting it out. Rangy rang do on the outside is in front and rangy rang do gets his group one. 